Hi, today I'd like to share with you what I use, my favorite prepper planning tool. It's my little black book. I always have it close when I'm watching YouTube videos, reading prepper blogs, or articles of interest. As you can see here, I have 10 tabs in my notebook to do planning, water, food, energy, let's go behind here, medical, protection, comms, which is short for communication, hygiene, and miscellaneous. All but the first and last tabs are for prepper categories. Under each tab, I have a category specific to do list. I inventory my resources in that category and list what I still need to do or obtain. I also have a notes section under each tab where I jot info, jot URLs, or products that I've heard of in a video or that I saw while reading. Under my to do tab, I list the activities that I want to accomplish for the week, month, or year. Each week on Sunday, I review the previous week to do list and see how much I got accomplished. I get great satisfaction from seeing an item on the list checked off. I then review each category and see what I can afford to buy and or do for the coming week. This keeps me focused and this way I don't lose sight of the big picture. So this was last week's. Okay, I didn't plant garlic. I'm still hoping to do that today. I did dehydrate broccoli. We bought a gun case. We've been saving up for this for a while. I've got the Winchester 24 gun safe from Tractor Supply and it was under $600 so it was a good buy. Buy over-the-counter meds for kits. Inventory the preps that I keep in my vehicle. Inventory my get-home bag and replace anything that's needed. Try to buy a used dog crate so I would have some way to transport my chickens if I needed to. Buy stable for gas storage, practice at the gun range, organize ammo, and schedule indoor water pump install. As you can see, I did accomplish everything except the organized ammo and the plant garlic. Now, for today, in the coming week, I have dehydrate onions, organize the ammo, mylar pack um, charcoal, have some water storage for the chickens in case something happens. Buy a Michigan map for the van. Organize my gas storage. Buy fix a flat for the van. I had to use it so I need to replace it. And replace food and water in the car. And inventory the car first aid kit. And these are just some notes from various sections. Okay, no. And you can see each section also has a to-do. This is the planning section. I have some notes. And then what I've started is inventorying some of my supplies. This is my EDC, which is generally kept in the car. So that's all the items with that. And I have my get home bag inventory. Whoops, better put that in and all those items. And in medical, I and in medical I have the car first aid kit and all the items listed. It will take some time to prepare complete inventories of all prepping supplies and resources, but I find these lists valuable. This way I can see where there are gaps in my planning. And these inventories also will be helpful to other family members if the need ever arises. Please remember, I was that geeky kid that got excited every year about getting new school supplies. I had to have just the right notebook, the right pen and ink color, the right tabs, etc. So for me, this prepper planning tool works really well. I also use Evernote and Excel spreadsheets for planning. But this is my number one go-to for prepper planning. It really keeps me on track. So I'd love to hear what is your favorite prepper planning tool. Please comment below and as always subscribe, 
and share the knowledge. Thank you so much for watching. This is Prepper Popery signing out. Until next time.